remember there was a time for being in the right place at the right time. David Ford believes last Friday had to be it. He was walking on this narrow part of Dabs House Road near East Richmond Road and Eastern Henrico when a relative of his was driving along that stretch. It was a miracle. Like that's what everybody kept saying. Like you was right there. Like I was surprised I was right there to even witness his first hand. That like, it's crazy, mind blowing. His aunt, Pippi Wingfield, tells us she remembers a car going by on the narrow road, forcing her to inch to the right as far as she could, but the road ran out and she veered off hitting a tree, then flipping her SUV. It's meant for two cars, but you, you got to slow down and let one car pass by. And it's very reckless because you can't see what's coming around the curve. When he got closer, Ford couldn't believe what he saw. His instinct to help kicked in. And when I got around the corner, she was still, she was in the front seat. She still had the seatbelt hooked on and none of the doors would open. So I pried the door open, unhooked her and drug out the car. The car was smoking and everything. I didn't think about this getting her way. Neither had a cell phone on them at the time. Shortly after, people passing by stopped and called 911. Ford tried to keep his aunt calm, but knew she was in extreme pain. When I pulled her, she said, ow, my back, my back, my back. And then she tried to stand up, but she kept going back down. So Wingfield has since undergone surgery for a fractured spine and says her recovery will be difficult and lengthy. Meanwhile, family members who surround her here at the hospital are praying something can be done to address the narrow road that they believe played a part in this tragic incident.